Do you ever need to find some other users on GEDmatch? And sometimes do you have a kit number and you want to figure out what the email address that goes with it? Well, today I'm going to show you how to use the user lookup. Howdy, I'm Andy Lee with Family History Fanatics and this is a segment of DNA. This is part of a series about all the different tools on the new Genesis system for GEDmatch. And today I'm going to show you how to use the user lookup and talk about some of the instances where you might want to use it. So once you've logged into the Genesis system, the user lookup tool is going to be right over here in the information section. And this is a great tool to be able to look up by the GEDcom number, by the kit number, or by the email address to find any of the users of the GEDmatch system. Let's talk about some different ways you may need to use this. For instance, you may have downloaded a match list from GEDmatch a year, two years, five years ago, but you didn't download the email addresses with them. As you're going through, you actually have found one of those kits that looks like might be promising for some research you're doing right now. In that case, what we can do is we can go over to the GEDmatch DNA kit number and we can type that kit in. And when we click on display results, it's going to tell us who that kit belongs to by their name or their e alias, by their email address. And it's also going to tell us whether or not there are any GEDcoms that are attached with that kit. Now, let's say, for instance, that we actually know the kit numbers and we have an email address attached to it. Or let's say that you've got an email address from Family Tree DNA or from another match that's emailed you and you want to see what that kit number is because they didn't tell you what that kit number was. In the email address section, if you type in the email address, then it will tell you all of the kits that are attached to that email. And so here you can say this is the main one that I use and it actually has all of these kits that are attached to that email. And it's only giving the alias of those but it's also going to give me the GEDcoms that are attached to each one of those different kits. Now, the third way that we can use the lookup is if we have a GEDcom number. If we were doing some research with different GEDcoms and we were going through and finding them and we wanna see what that GEDcom number is attached to, then we can put that GEDcom ID number in this field. And when we display results, it's going to give us the name of the key person for that GEDcom. It's gonna give the email address of the contact and it's going to give us the kit number that that is associated with. Now, recognize here that this person may not be living. This person may have already passed on. The kit number that's associated with it also may not be a living person depending on who has uploaded that kit. But this gives us the contact information as far as the email address so that we can then email those people to find out some more information about that GEDcom. Now, a couple of things that I'll just point out here, and they say it in the instructions right here, is first off, wild cards aren't allowed. So you need to know the exact kit number or the exact email address. You can't just know a partial on that. The other thing is, is you don't have to worry about upper and lower case. It doesn't matter. And finally, the last thing is that if the owner of this kit or of this GEDcom has marked it as private, it's not going to show up. And that is in a nutshell how you can use the user lookup tool on GEDmatch. I've used it a lot in order to help find some information on different people for kits that I am researching and also to be able to get in contact with other distant cousins when I've lost their email address for some reason. So if you have a question about what kit is attached to what email address, Use the user lookup in GEDmatch. The user lookup for GEDmatch and for the Genesis system work the exact same way and they look the exact same. So if you have any questions about how to use the user lookup system, put it in the comments below and I'll try to answer it. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.